I call this the November 12th, 2024 meeting of the Lincoln County Board of Commissioners to order. Our invocation tonight will be given by Brother Ron Wood. Ron is the pastor of the Federal Church of God. And our Pledge of Allegiance tonight will be given by Emory English. Emory, she's a member of the Lady Lions basketball team at Unity. She's a peer tutor. Our favorite subjects are math and social studies, and she attends Stewart's Chapel Baptist Church, and she's the daughter of Jedediah and Crystal English. If you would, please stand for our invocation. Remain standing for our pledge. I want to thank uh, my brother Bill and all the commissioners for allowing me the opportunity to ask our Lord to give a blessing upon this meeting tonight and upon all the people that help make the decisions in the best interests of all our residents of this county. Would you bow your heads, please? Father, I ask you to look upon us humans who do the best that we know how with what we know how, but help us to search out what you know how. Give us that heavenly wisdom, that eternal wisdom that will cause us to make the decisions that affect every man and woman that lives in this county, not just for today, but the the days and the years to come, and those decisions be made with wisdom and goodness and kindness and the best of intent of our hearts. And let everything be done decent and in order with peace and charity towards one another. In Jesus' name, I pray and say amen and amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Brother Ron, and thank you, Emory. At this time, the clerk will call the roll. Brandon Coley. Here. David Sanders. Here. Danny Walker. Here. Ben Brown. Bonnie Caldwell. Here. Terry Lynn Rogers. Here. Jack Ashley. Here. Kate Guin. Here. Mark Mitchell. Here. Charles Hunter. Here. Do I include Charles in the room? Charles has been sworn in, and uh, this is about as much welcome, I guess, as you're going to get, Charles. But <laughs> well, welcome back. And truthfully, I know the 4th District is glad to have three commissioners back and thank you for and look forward to your service to your district in the county. Marianne Tackett. Here. Steve Spray. Here. Daniel Eldridge. Here. Jason Nix. Here. Anthony Taylor. Here. Doug Cunningham. Here. Pat Haynes. Here. Tori Young. Ricky Bryant. Here. Glenn Here. Douglas. Here. Steve Guntherberg. Here. Troy Frazran. Here. Jason Hambrick. Here. Jeannie Rose Walter. Present. 22 commissioners present, two absent. Okay. Um, no announcements. We did not have anybody register for public comments, uh, so we're ready for, I would entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the October 4th, 14th meeting. So moved. Okay. Commissioner Rogers makes a motion. Yeah. Do I have a second? Commissioner Gunthenberg seconds that. Any questions? Was it not? Was it Fraz Rand? Whichever way you want to talk. Well, <laughs> I, remember, I remember my great granddad used to do the same thing. He'd, he'd go down the list of all of us. Grand, the grandkids, yeah. So, okay, change that to Fraz Rand, please. Okay. Uh, Y'all try to take turns tonight and not confuse me. Uh, any questions, comments on the minutes for last month's commission meeting? All in favor of approval, then, please say aye. aye. Any opposed, no. Unanimously approved. We have 23 present now. 23 present now. Okay. Change my number. Okay. Um, uh, you should have received 11 monthly committee meeting minutes and six quarterly. I would entertain a motion acknowledgement of, of that. Commissioner... Gunthenberg makes a motion. I'll second. <laughs> okay. I, I'm going to ignore y'all if it keeps up. Okay. Just. 
Fr- Frazran, you know, Gunthenburg, you know, it's... Okay. Any questions on any of those that somebody didn't receive 11 and 6 on those? All in favor, acknowledgement, please say aye. aye. Any opposed, no. Unanimously acknowledged. Next item. Uh, consideration for approval to appoint Jason Hambrick, Jeannie Rose Walter, Daniel Eldridge, Troy Frazran, Glenn, Glenn Douglas to the Law Enforcement Committee. Those are the current members, and those terms would expire December 2026. Uh, Commissioner Taylor makes a motion. Commissioner Ashley seconds that. Any questions or comments? All in favor of that approval, please say aye. aye. Any opposed, no. Unanimously approve. Uh, the next thing is a resolution requ- requesting one half of the real estate transfer tax to go to the counties where they're collected. Uh, did everybody see that resolution? Uh, the ones got information on it that was at the TCSA meeting. I'll try to answer any questions you might have if there's any about that. Move to approve. Got a motion to approve by Commissioner Taylor. Commissioner Rose Walter seconds. Any discussion? All in favor of approval, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed, no. Unanimously approved. Uh, next two items, Ms. Tracy Perkins. <coughs> Um, first file tonight, both of these are just calling for a public hearing. First file is 2024-R9. It's a request to rezone a 1.02 acre parcel known as 88 Lees Creek uh, from A1 to A2. Uh, the owner and applicant have requested this uh, rezone to A2 in order to subdivide 88 Lees Creek to correct a uh, septic field encroachment issue. Uh, 90 Lees Creek septic field is on 88 Lees Creek's parcel. Um, so all the properties around it are A1. It's not in the flood area, and the Planning Commission gave a favorable recommendation for that on November 4th, and they have requested to call for public hearing. Okay. Anybody not wanting to take both of them at one time, both of them are a call for a public hearing. Hearing none, go ahead with the next one. We'll take them together. I think they need to be separate. Okay. Okay, well, vote on that one. Do I have a motion for call for a public hearing on the first item? Commissioner Taylor makes a motion. Do I have a second? Uh, Commissioner Ewan seconds. Any comments? All in favor of calling for the public hearing next month prior to the commission meeting, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed, no. Unanimously approved. Next item. Uh, 2024 R10 is a request to rezone two parcels located at the corner of Highland Rim and Huntsville Highway. Uh, these total 4.04 acre, acres and are currently zoned A2 suburban residential. Uh, the two parcels do lie outside of the urban growth boundary. Um, the owner and applicant have requested approval to rezone to C1 in order to build a commercial, new commercial office building. Uh, immediate surrounding properties are A2, properties across the highway and across Highland Rim Road are C1, but they are also located within the urban growth boundary. Uh, it is not in a flood area, and on November 4th, the Planning Commission did not recommend rezoning to C1 due to the property being outside of the UGB, and they are discussing uh, updating the growth plan so that Okay. We can move on from this, okay. hopefully. What's the will of the commission as it relates to a call for a public hearing? This is more of an administrative motion than it is. You're not approving anything, but uh, as far as administrative procedures, uh, I think they have the right for a public hearing, and then the commission can vote whatever they favor as far as the change, if there is a change or not a change. Move we approve public hearing. Okay, we got a motion to approve public call for public yeah. hearing. Okay. Commissioner Nick seconds that. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed, no. Unanimously approved. Thank, Thank you, Ms. Perkins. Uh, Commissioner Bryant, I believe we're ready for 
um, budget report. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The budget Committee of the County Legislative Body of Lincoln County, Tennessee met pursuant to due notice at the EMA building on November the 5th, 2024 at 5 o'clock p.m. All members were present. Item 1, tree removal and survey in Wells Hill Park. Uh, Mayor Newman informed the committee that he had been to the site and that he had had a survey done regarding these trees. We received two estimates for removal of the trees. One individual came back and revised his estimate and it is now a little bit cheaper. We had a motion by Commissioner Cunningham, seconded by Commissioner Sanders, passed unanimously to recommend approval of paying up to $10,000 for the removal of these trees and the survey. What's the will of the commission on this item? Uh, Commissioner Tyler makes a motion for approval to have second. Commissioner Douglas seconds that. Mr. Chairman, I'll be abstaining from this. Okay. We got an abstention from Commissioner Hunter. Okay. Any other, any discussion? How big are these trees for 10 grand? Well, I can show you a picture if you want it on the, my phone, but it might take me a minute to get to it. I would say they're uh, the diameter of the biggest one's probably four and a half feet diameter. The other one be um, probably four feet diameter. Both of them do lean towards the house. I, I did mention this in um, budget. I do think that the trees were there before the house was built, so. I would consider maybe asking them to pay for half. Okay. Are you wanting that. are you wanting to amend the motion? We have we have a motion b before the commission. You you have the rights to make a, I mean I would make that amendment, yes. Okay. We have a do you have, we have a second for the owner of the property paying one half of the cost of that? I'll second that. Okay. Commissioner Gewin seconds that. Any discussion on the amendment to the motion, which would reduce the amount we're paying by one half and that uh, landowner would pay the other half? That was Rolls Walter that I second that. Commissioner Rolls Walter seconded, not me. I was going to, but she Okay. All right. So, okay. A motion by Commissioner Caldwell, second by Rolls Walter. Uh, I recognize uh, Commissioner Cunningham. From a discussion standpoint, I, uh, of course, we've got to remember the property belongs to us. Our property, our tree, and if it falls and lands on our house, it's 100% our responsibility. So, you know, it, even though uh, the trees were there before they started building, uh, you know, and maybe when they bought the lot and stuff, that doesn't mean that. Uh, you know, if you buy some land out somewhere and your neighbor's got some trees there, you know, you don't tell them, hey, I'm going to build a house, you need to cut your trees down. Uh, you know, I don't think you get a very good answer doing that. So I, I, I think we're really wrong here. I think we need to, to pay the full amount. It's our property. This property is given to us. I'm really surprised that we hadn't had something of this nature happen already. But uh, like I said, we <coughs> are really, really big. And that little section right there, those lots are really close to our land, which is different from most of it. It's not there most of it. It's, it's, the land is further away than from houses than this particular one. Yeah. But uh, I, would, I would be against the motion. I think okay. We pay them Any other discussion? Okay. All in favor of the amendment, which is to uh, reduce the amount the county would pay by one half and ask the owner to pay the other half, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed, no. 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 Um, amendment fails. Now we're back to the full uh, motion of um, uh, $10,000 paying for the survey and removal of the two trees. Any other discussion? Chairman. Yes, sir. We took bids on this. Uh, yes, we had. Two bids, uh, Wilson Brothers looked at it and wouldn't bid on it. Uh, so we have two bids. One was adjusted to 9,500. Uh, the other one's 10,000. And the survey is slightly less than 500. I think it's uh, 450. So it's 
the two different things because I called for them surveying it because I wasn't for sure if it was on our property or not. So did, they did establish the line, and I went out there and. I'm sorry. Who is cutting the tree? Ogle has the cheapest, oh. as the cheapest of the bids. Did we advertise the bids or we just? No, we just asked the owner to get the bids. Point of clarification, um, there was not really, quote, quotes were gotten, not bids. No. Just, but it was under that threshold anyway. So that's, there was no formal bidding. Was it for <laughs> No, for that was amount. Not for that, was that amount. Well, the bid limit is twenty-five thousand dollars. Any, any other? All in favor of approval, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? No. No. Okay. Raise your hand if you're voted no, please. Caldwell. Please let's see it. Caldwell. Okay. One abstention. Oh, an abstention from Commissioner Hunter. <clears throat> Commissioner Bryant. B, Lincoln County Health Department MOU. Uh, Mayor Newman explained that the Lincoln County Health Department MOU is another step in the health department remodel. There have been several meetings for the project for updating and remodeling of the health department. We had a motion by Commissioner Ewan, seconded by Commissioner Bryant, passed unanimously to recommend approval of the mayor signing the MOU for the health department remodel. What's the will of the commission on this item? Move will concur. Okay, Commissioner Bryant makes a motion for approval. Commission, Commissioner Taylor seconds. Um, and this is, there's two agreements, if y'all saw in there, there's an agreement between the county and the state. This is an agreement between the commission and the mayor, giving me the authority to, y'all have approved the money for it to be spent for that cause, the $123,900. Does everybody understand that? Okay. All in favor of approval, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed, no. Unanimously approved. Commissioner Bryant. C, Lincoln County, County Warrior Exhibit U.S. Flag Request. That's attached. Mayor Newman requested uh, approval for the county to purchase one half, 63 U.S. flags for the Lincoln County Warrior Exhibit. The city will be responsible for the other half. These flags will be purchased in January by the Lincoln County Warrior Exhibit and they agreed to be responsible to have the flags put on display. We had a motion by Commissioner Ewan, seconded by Commissioner Spray, passed unanimously to recommend approval of paying for one half, that'll be 63 U.S. flags, at the cost of $1,260. Okay, these are the flags that flow, that fly from Memorial Day to Veterans Day <clears> that are <throat> on the uh, utility poles around there. So we would be paying one half, City would be paying a half. So the request is for $1,260, which is one half of that. What's the will of the commission on this item? So moved. Commissioner Gunthenberg makes a motion, second by Commissioner Gewin. Any questions? Is there any way to break the end of that flag so they don't fit so much? That's, they've addressed that problem and they've tried several different things. I don't know that they really have anything has resulted on completely eliminating but it does occur uh and uh fpu has done some things on those i i don't know if they have a new thought of what to do but it is a problem on those uh and i'm told it's because sometimes where those are mounted if they're mounted at a 45 degree angle it does not do that we got ours mounted at a 90 degree angle so they're wrapping up where they don't when they're at a 45 degree angle uh, but they had already i think aj williams made those brackets and i think he gave them to us i believe on that i believe so uh that's kind of the story on those uh, so it's kind of tough to ask somebody to change something that they gave you for free but that's that's what i've been told Okay, any other discussion or questions? All in favor of approval, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed, no. Unanimously approved. Commissioner Bryant. D, Huntsville Hospital Health System uh, slash Lincoln County, Inc. and Lincoln County, Tennessee. Uh, it's a license agreement. 
Uh, Mayor Newman advised the committee that the health system will be leasing a bay to park an ambulance in for a trial period for an emergency medical crew to run medical calls from the Taft location. The health system will be responsible for the utilities used during this term, uh, during the term of the lease. We had a motion by Commissioner Taylor, seconded by Commissioner Bryant, passed unanimously to recommend approval of entering into the lease agreement with Huntsville Hospital Health System slash Lincoln Inc. for the use of 17 Henry Thompson Road in Taft, Tennessee. What's well, the will of the commission on this item? Uh, Com Commissioner Taylor makes a motion. Who's second? Commissioner Coley seconds that. <clears throat> Any questions? All in favor of approval, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed, no. Unanimously approved. Commissioner Bryant? E. Animal Shelter. Mayor Newman informed the committee that the county will go ahead with their part of purchase for the winterizing of the animal shelter. And that's an information item. Item two, Sheriff Toll Malone, uh, 2A, uh, Sheriff Surplus Property, and that's attached. Sheriff Malone informed the committee that they are continuing to clean up at the Sheriff's Department. The Finance Office has been keeping a running total of all the money turned in uh, for scrap and things of that nature. Uh, motion, we had a motion by Commissioner Taylor, seconded by Commissioner Hambert. Pass unanimously really recommend approval of the attached sheriff surplus property and the funds from the sale of the surplus vehicles be earmarked for the transport vehicle and the funds from the guns be earmarked for purchase of shotguns for the sheriff's department. What's the will of Commissioner? So uh, Commissioner Frazran makes a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Uh, Commissioner Rose Walter seconds that. Any discussion? All in favor of approval, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed, no. Unanimously approved. Commissioner Bryant. Item three, finance director, 3A, 101 general fund budget amendments are attached. We had a motion by Commissioner Taylor, seconded by Commissioner Caldwell, and passed unanimously to recommend approval of the 101 general fund budget amendments. What's the will of the commission on this item? Move we approve. Commissioner Bryant makes a motion for approval. Do I have a second? Commissioner Haynes seconds. Any questions? All in favor of approval, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed, no. Unanimously approved. Commissioner Bryant. B, 141 General Purpose School Fund Budget Amendments. They're attached. We had a motion by Commissioner Spray, seconded by Commissioner Taylor, and passed unanimously to recommend approval of the 141 General Purpose School Fund Budget Amendments. What's the will of the commission on this item? Mr. Spray makes a motion for approval. Do I have a second? Second. Uh, Commissioner Bryant seconds. Any questions? All in favor of approval, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed, no. Unanimously approved. Commissioner Bryant. See, financials. A uh, motion by Commissioner Caldwell, seconded by Commissioner Ewan, and passed unanimously to accept the enclosed November 2024 financials. Okay. Do we have a motion uh, acceptance those financial statements? Okay. Commissioner Frazran makes a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Commissioner Coley seconds. Any questions? All in favor of acknowledgement, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed, no. Unanimously approved. Commissioner Bryant? Uh, D, a Lincoln County Fire EMA was not selected for an AFG grant this year. And item E, ARP sheet uh, is attached uh, for your consideration or just information, actually. Item four, uh, Chairman Cunningham. Chairman Cunningham discussed the growth plan and the need for us to get a committee together and funds appropriated. After a lengthy discussion by the committee members, uh, we had a motion by Commissioner Bryant, seconded by Commissioner Sanders, and passed seven yes, one no to have Mayor Newman approach Nancy Harris to see if she is interested in helping us with a growth plan and appropriate up to $10,000 for expenses, including salary and benefits. Did everybody get a copy of that letter that Nancy submitted? Okay. What's the will of the commission on this item? Commissioner Cunningham makes a motion for approval. Do I have a second? Second. Commissioner Bryant seconds. Any discussion or questions? Commissioner Gwen, I recognize. When I read Nancy's uh, letter, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned that there's a conflict there, and some of our clients may be some of the developers out there. Um, I don't think that there's a conflict. I 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 think that
So if we're going to put 10000 out, is she working for us or is she working for them to get this urban growth going? She's working for us. Well, does anybody else see a conflict with this money or anything going to her that, that she's going to be basically trying to straighten it all out for the urban growth? Uh, but I guess the developers, and they can do their development. No, ma'am, that's, that's not what it's about at all. Uh, what this is, first off, we're 20-something years behind of what we were supposed to be doing. So what she's doing is straightening out the process that we've got to get back to to establish where our growth areas and non-growth areas are going to be because it also involves Petersburg, Ardmore, and Fayetteville. I have personally talked to each of those mayors to let them know that you know we're starting the process they will have input in what's finally adopted because they have to approve it too our input on it is going to be county growth area and rural basically no growth areas uh, the cities that what's adjoins them and in their area they can request for them to have what would be called the urban growth areas uh, like there was before. City is apparently does not want to have any urban growth areas. Ardmore and Petersburg, it was so new when I mentioned to them, they haven't said anything. So, no, she's working for us and it's not a conflict. Okay. Any other questions, uh, Commissioner Rose Walter? I just wanted to um, see if we could make sure that I was reviewing the 2020 planning and zoning annual report uh, and Miss Nancy would have been the one that prepared this and it says the planning and zoning office conducted an intense assessment of adjacent zoning districts to the urban growth boundary. The original intent was to amend just the UGB, but while conducting the study, several other errors were noted outside of the UGB. And then due to workloads, basically the project was put on hold for an indefinite amount of time. Can we get a report on what the additional errors were? Can we specifically uh, ask for I'm that to be addressed? what you just said. I have no idea what you just said okay well it takes a little digging to get into stuff so i'll go back and repeat it every year the planning and zoning department puts out an annual report that breaks everything down they do a wonderful job their department putting that information out to us and in that report she states that the planning and zoning office conducted an intense assessment of adjacent zoning districts to the ugb so everything we're talking about right now. Mm -hmm. The original intent was to amend just the UGB, but while conducting the study, several other errors were noted outside of the UGB. So, and it says due to workload, and we all know in 2020, everybody decided they wanted to build this, that, and everything, and their office was covered up, and I'm sure there were other things, but I just wanna make sure it says several other errors. I want to know what those other errors were so that we can address those as well. Well, that's her job to straighten it out. Now, what the other errors were, I have no idea. But now, it's this is, it kind of relates to planning and zoning, but it's outside of planning and zoning. This is, this is, this body uh, will have part of the final approval. Fed will have final approval. Ardmore will, Petersburg will. But what, what we're trying to do is remove whatever errors that we haven't done since 2000 when it's the last time anything was done on it. Now, what, what those were, I have no idea. Right. This whole thing actually addresses and references the growth plan and the public chapter 1101 and gets into all of that with the other uh, communities that were discussed. But this where it says several other errors, I would like a report of what those were i want to take care of whatever the issues now are now not just us uh, getting to develop outside of the ugb i want to know what those errors were make sure we're taking care of it so well i mean 
you can slow down the process, but what her job is is to get us back on board and bring us up to the speed where we should be now. I mean, she's going to know what they were or what we got to correct because she's having to go back to ground zero. She does not know everything. She's having to, you know, we're having to use uh, 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 Sean Henry in this. As everybody's involved in it. She's just the point person so we don't drag around and take two years to get this done when we're waiting on people that need stuff zoned where we can continue growth. Well, she keeps records like nobody's business, so I can guarantee you she's got a list of whatever those errors were. So well, I would like to know what those are. Why don't you address her? personally but we need to get on with this if we're going to prove uh hiring her to uh, to do the job that i think we should have her do is this going to affect you daniel and what we're doing for the people they are related but not directly i mean they're complementary so it, it needs to be done quickly yeah. and it's worth saying this is nobody's fault uh there was a moratorium on annexations and you know, as far as from my seat, and I think everybody's been here for a while, I can't speak for everyone, but we definitely thought it's just outside, it's gone. There's no there's no annexation, there's no anything anymore. And it just got outside of everybody's radar. And I just want her to get it put back on the radar. And I also just want to approve some of these in the meantime, because it is um, uh, obvious that some of these uh, properties that are coming up are commercial in nature. And I think we got to do our job in the meantime while we're doing this. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Commissioner Nix. In budget, you mentioned about reaching out to her to see if she's even a receptive to this. Have you, is she receptive to this? She did. Uh, I'm, if you didn't get a copy of that letter, I'm sorry. I thought we sent it to everybody. I could have missed it. I get a lot of emails. Okay. Uh, basic was, yes, she agreed to it. She gave us some dates that she already had things planned. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong on this, y'all, $25 an hour for her work time. I'm sorry, okay. For travel yes, that's right. Thank you. And that's her own internet and her own everything. She yeah. didn't ask for any of that. I, I'm not into urban. I, I see it as this is outside of my scope. Yeah. And I'm not going to argue with that. Yeah. But I'm just saying, you know, I think we need to look at it. Because I'm not into urban. I, I see it as this is out of my scope. Let me, does the city of Fayetteville, didn't, didn't they get away with the urban? They didn't okay. Uh, tomorrow, that hopefully will get Charles is going with Sean Henry to meet with the state. The city gave up their rights to it, but just cause they gave it up and we accepted it, it still has to be approved by the state. So that's where we are on that. Charles, you need to address that anyway. The city actually gave up their rights to subdivision regulations in that area is what they're, what they're giving up. And the reason is, is our subdivision regulations are more stringent than the city's. I don't I, I don't know I this is time she coordinates with the city and stuff I'm guessing time we're ready for this uh, Commission to vote on a final thing I would think four to six months well here's what here's kind of what happened and 2000 is when the city county petersburg and ardmore approved one in 2010 we were supposed to address it again you can't address it every three years well there at that time there was not a whole lot of agreement between the city and county going on at that time and so it just kind of got dropped uh, because there wasn't, I think that would be fair to say, would it not, Doug? To that. We, I mean, we, we did this in, uh, I can't remember, 2007, 8, right in there. We had looked at it and, and then it got dropped because the requests were from the city to extend the boundaries out to Flint Point and on out uh, west to play up to it. And when a lot of people showed up at the public hearing against it, then the city dropped it. So that was the last time that we did the, anything with that. I thought, and I think others thought this too, that once we passed the real zoning, which was in 2014, that we weren't under that anymore. You know, that, that's, that was my thought. And that was mine too. And, 
and then you know we pop up and find out that you know not on the state still wants to to do that. And the whole point behind the law was to make counties zone because there were so many counties that didn't have any zoning. Still, quite a few counties that don't have any zoning. Child County doesn't have zoning. So I think, and of course, the tiny town stuff too about annexation was part of that law. But you know, like I said, I don't think anything was intentionally totally. dropped. I just couldn't see. It. You know, once we got our own zoning plan, why we have to report to the state and tell them. You know that that's where we're going to build stuff. But apparently, we've got to keep up with that too. So we got to do it. And it's a whole separate deal from you know planning and zoning, and it, it'll take them a little while. You got to get you know all four entities to agree. Told you, you look like you wanted to say something. No. Okay. I just, I just remember when we passed the zone plan, and I remember I thought that once we passed that, we were done with it. I did too. And it's, also, it's also worth saying that the last piece of property that I can remember that was annexed got given back to us uh, because God. they couldn't provide the service in the area. And the that, there again, that just let, that's one more thing to just let you know that it's, it's over with. It doesn't have, you know, we didn't need to worry about it anymore. But uh, that was out at the Rambo, in the Rambo Farm area, and it was annexed, and they couldn't provide the service in a reasonable amount of time. And that property was given back to the county. It was de-annexed at that particular time. And uh, it goes way back. I don't remember what year that was, uh, but, uh, you know. It's been about 10 years now. Or, or 12 or so. Yeah. Any other comments or questions? All in favor of approval, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed, no. Unanimously approved. Is there anything else? That's all we got, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Okay. I believe we're ready for our notary publics, Madam Clerk. Eugenia Kuntz by Commissioner Guntherberg, April Brown by Commissioner Young, Ronald Howard Shepard by Commissioner Guntherberg, Carissa Lee Krishnan by Commissioner Nix, Jana Bishop by Commissioner Rose Walter, and Demetra McElyay by Commissioner Brown. Any additions? Entertain a motion for those names that were read to be approved. I'll make a motion. Okay, Commissioner Mitchell makes a motion. Do I have a second? No. Commissioner Hunter needs his uh, name in the minutes to make sure he was here. So, Commissioner Hunter seconds. We've already got yours, uh, Commissioner. All in favor of approval, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed, no. All right, ready to move in new business. Adjourn. <laughs> the motion to adjourn was was is there a second? Second. All in favor of adjournment, please say aye. Aye. All in not in favor of adjournment, please say no. no. I don't. Do you? I can scream it after we adjourn. No, I will get. Just a quick announcement I, about the comprehensive, the public meetings for the okay. comprehensive plan. I appreciate everybody attending. We have three more. The next one is this Thursday, the 14th at 7 p.m. at the First National Bank Community Building in Park City. That's District 4. District 5 will be Monday the 18th at the EMA Building, and District 8 will be Tuesday the 19th at South Lincoln School. Doing a good job. Keep it up. Now, <laughs> go ahead. I gave her a speech before it started, but it hadn't worked. I just have one question that if Mrs. Tracy and I emailed back and forth, we've been kind of playing tag on some stuff. Um, if between now and the next meeting, if we could reach out to CTAS and get verification on this, because I may be misunderstanding it. Like Miss Kate said, it's hard to wrap your head around all of it. I'll read it 10 times and think I've got it, and I've got to go back and read it 10 more. But it was my understanding in speaking with them that you can have lower intensity development, dense, less dense development in nature in the rural area, and that we could do C1 on that one item that we, uh, that planning and zoning had recommended not approving. So is there any way between now and the next meeting that you could confer with CTAS? I'll send you what they sent me and maybe you can get with them and get an opinion back. Is that okay between now and the next meeting? Well, I did actually, I've already reached out to them. Um, okay. see if we're actually making sure because the mayor had requested to make sure that we are under this urban growth factor. Uh, 
maybe residential is what they what is classed in commercial and industrial and that's what they don't want to rezone outside of. but regular residential you know four lot minor that's not good I guess my, my confusion was, and this is what I need clarification on, is to me that general C1, because it lies on the major thoroughfare on the front, you know, where it's at, that it would be okay. So I've been emailing back and forth. Like I said, I may have a misunderstanding, but before we vote next month, I would like clarification and I'll forward that email. And if you don't mind just following up on it, maybe updating us on what you, and I, and I may misunderstood, but okay. Okay, thank you so much. We got a motion to adjourn. Second by Commissioner Cunning. All in favor of adjournment, please say aye. aye. Any opposed, no. Adjourn.